So as I'm trying to craft this video and trying to go through different topics, different, you know, different talking points, different things I want to bring up and my concerns on the future of modern gaming is the way that Axeman likes to put it. I think, you know, I think with the with the way that gamings have games have gone nowadays, I definitely understand his his take on modern gaming. Uh but uh, dude, I just I I, I I don't know what to say. I am truly, after looking at these different things with the amount of money that Diablo Mortal has made in, in just the, in the past two weeks, learning that people have been spending thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars in Diablo Mortal, and just the feedback that I'm assuming that Activision Blizzard is getting from the amount of money that they're making from this game, and I'm assuming from the amount of feedback i guess other companies are going to be getting like don't get me wrong I, I imagine that activision blizzard is getting a lot of feedback going man we're going to be making millions not if billions of dollars on this one game i'm assuming they're not the only people that are taking notes on exactly how activision blizzard is going about diablo immortal this game truly makes me concerned for the way that the games are going to be going in the future and as us as consumers it is going to be totally screwing us over on actually getting good content for what we pay for. I'm gonna show you examples on what I mean on just how predatorial this game is, as well as too is, how are we gonna be protecting uh, younger individuals? How are we gonna be protecting the young? People that are 18 and younger, how are we gonna be going to protect them when it comes to the predatorial actions that these companies take in creating addictions? creating gambling addictions that's exactly what diablo mortal is it's a gambling simulator disguised disguised as a video game and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about with this right here now this this blows me away now if you guys don't understand what this is so this is a rift simulator in diablo immortal they have rifts which are just kind of like raids and whatnot at the end of the raid you will get gear the gear is randomized but the more money you pay into the rifts $25 it looks like being the maximum you get better quality gear this is insane now I'm gonna have this playing in the background we're gonna be checking it periodically but what this thing is supposed to do is it's supposed to simulate how much money somebody spends on rifts to get a five-star gem we are up to literally a thousand dollars over a thousand dollars over fifteen hundred dollars some over two twenty two thousand dollars at 2,375, we got our first five star, or uh, yeah, five star gem. Our first five star gem. Somebody would have to pay $2,375 in simulated rifts to get their first five star gem. Get it? I, I understand. It's a free to play game. I know I'm going to get arguments about it. Oh, it's a free to play game. It's a mobile game. It's PC. You don't understand. No, BS. This is a gambling, a, a, a slot machine simulator. And the craziest thing about it is that Diablo Mortal, even though it has an immature, whatever it might be, rating-wise, this does not protect consumers that are young. It does not protect people that are 21 and, and, and um, 21 and younger um, from gambling addictions. They can take their their mama's car, credit card. They can be wasting their own money on something that they're not getting any value from whatsoever. Now, if you're an adult and you are stupid enough, and we'll get into stupid enough to spend money in this game, over two thousand dollars to get any type of progression to this game. This game is just absolutely atrocious and predatorial. The simple fact that people have to spend money into into progress. I don't know why in the world us as gamers, us as consumers, can say, you know what? Yeah, sixty, seventy dollar games, and you get the full game. You get to progress and everything. Ah, you know what? That's that that's that that's of the past. The future is. I spend thousands, not of, not no tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in order to progress in the game. That's what the future is. That's insane to know that people are like that. It totally makes me concerned of the way the games are going. And I really do hope that there's light at the end of the tunnel where this type of practice, this slot machine, g gaming style for progression, pay to win, BS, if it's not able to be getting removed from, I'm hoping that in some way in the future, we can at least protect younger people from getting addicted to this stuff. If you're an adult, you're an adult. You you make your own choice. You make your own mind up with the amount of money that you want to spend on something that's not going to gain value by any means. But I just cannot believe this. Two thousand Over $2,000 to get our first five-star gem. Let's let this roll on. And I want to show you this right here. So this is... This is exactly what we're talking about. Diablo Immortal Rift Simulator lets players roll until they get a five-star legendary gem. 
again, this worries me to no end. Activision is seeing how much money they get from this thing. Activision is seeing that individual players will spend over $3,000 in order to level their character up. And if you think I'm joking, I'm not. This is a Diablo Immortal streamer spending past 20, sorry, $20,000 without getting a legendary gem. There are people out here spending this much money on a product just to progress. The pay to win system that Diablo Immortal is, is just completely predatorial. And it's so stupid because it is getting people addicted and it's abusing people that already have the gambling addiction. It is already completely abusing people that are already addicted going, man, if I just spend, you know, an extra $25, man, if I, you know what, if I spend an extra $25, $25, you know what, it's just a hundred, it's just 200, it's just 500, it's just a thousand before too long. Let's go over to our simulator. We are still going at over five five thousand dollars and we haven't gotten our second gym now everybody probably knows and you've read the story too as well i'm assuming is that you know it takes over a hundred thousand dollars to actually get fully ranked up in this game F progression wise and i understand it's a moba game but over a hundred thousand dollars to progress your character to full rank is <laughs> i don't know i can't understand i could not understand people spending this much money to progress understanding for adults hey man it's your money you spend it the way you you do but the simple fact that kids are able to do this is one thing that we need to protect and again like i said this if this is the future of modern gaming we as consumers we as players are completely we're going to be completely destroyed uh, the way that games go, the way that games are, are, are at least where the way that Diablo could have it, if, the way that Activision could have it, if, if, if Activision could design the future of games, Diablo Immortal probably would be the way they would go. Hey, look at that. $16,000 later, we got our second gym, baby. $16,000, we got our second gym. You know what? Let's talk about this. We're going to keep it rolling. Let's talk about this. Diablo, why Diablo more revenue? Oh, hold on, sorry, that's a that's a different story. We'll scroll back up. I imagine that we. Oh, look at that, we're still going. Hey, hey. Diablo Mortal is making twenty four million dollars in two weeks is a good sign. Now, the one thing that I've seen a lot of people bring up is that Diablo uh, Diablo three made a lot more money, several millions of dollars, uh, compared to where Diablo Mortal sits at right now. But I'm going to tell you right now, Diablo Mortal is a free to play game. It is a mobile game. It hasn't released in China yet. That's a that's a big argument on why Diablo three made a lot of money is because it was you know in China's mar Chinese markets as well. But Diablo Immortal is not released in China yet. They're going to be making whenever it released. I think July seventh is one of those you know dates out there that Diablo Immortal will be released in China. They're going to be making money hand over fist, man. The way that the, this predatorial system is, the way that it, it, it's on mobile, they got ported to PC. It's getting addicted, people addicted to, on PC, on mobile. I'm surprised it hasn't been made over to a console port. And, and which, you know what, telling by the future of way, the way that mobile games are, that mobile games make so much millions of, upon millions of dollars. They've made a PC port. I imagine before too long, with the amount of money that they that, that, that people will spend on this game, I imagine Activision has a plan to put this into console ports. It, it it truly makes me concerned because we we are not getting a good quality game. Seventeen thousand dollars, baby. Seventeen thousand dollars. We haven't gotten a third gym yet. Do you feel robbed? If you were playing this game, would you feel robbed? Hey, look at that. Eighteen thousand dollars. Hey, we got our third gym, baby. <laughs> we got our third gym, man. Hell yeah. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling. I feel like. I feel like my money well spent. Money well spent. I got my third gym. You. You know what? Let me just spend an extra twenty five dollars. Let me just. You know, an extra fifty. Ah, oh, oh, damn. A hundred. Oh, two hundred. Come on. I can get my next gym. At, you know, three hundred, four, five, six, seven. You know what? Shit. Oh, look at that. Twenty thousand dollars, baby. Yeah. Twenty thousand. Get my fourth gym. Woo, buddy. Twenty grand. 20 grand that's all i had to spend you know back in the day back in the day i don't know how many people remember this back in the day you pay 60 70 dollars you get the whole game you get to progress not having to pay any extra to progress man those were the days right those were the days man
What happened? I'm telling you, this is the future. The, unless we as consumers, as gamers, we make a statement, we, we push for some type of change. This is what the future is going to be holding. This is how progression is going to be going. I'm telling you right now, Activision is learning everything from this. They are learning of how much money they can make. They're learning steps and ways to be able to get people to get addicted to this system. Whether it's, you know, a starter pack here, a starter pack there, buy this, buy that, get this, boom, you're getting people addicted. This is the way, if we don't make any changes whatsoever, the way that Activision and so many other companies are going to be making their games. We need to set a standard. We need to let our voices be heard as consumers, as gamers. But I don't think I don't I don't think everybody thinks like I do, and it makes me concerned on how this game's gonna go. Let's do another spin. Let's talk about this last thing. Asmongold. Now, Asmongold, I know I've been watching his streams, watching some of his YouTube content. Funny, funniest damn reactions uh, to this. And I know he's been bringing up uh, he's bringing, bringing up uh, Diablo Immortal as well and, and the huge issues that he has with it, which I, am, I imagine a lot of people, including myself, him, and so many others, have issues with this game. Well, one of the things that he actually brought up was, you know what, he needs to, he needs to make a stand and he has to find some way to make a change to what's currently happening. He's seeing the example that Activision Blizzard is making with Diablo Immortal and he has to find some way in order to make some type of change. Well, living in Texas, he con- he contacted his senator his uh senate representative which is Ted Cruz. Now, look, I get it. Ted Cruz depending on what side of the aisle you sit on, polarizing p- person. Even to me as somebody that's uh, sits on the right, not too huge of a fan of Ted Cruz. That being said, I'm happy to know that he reached out. Asmin Gold was able to reach out and actually, if you guys have not seen you know, some of Asmund Gold's his clips uh, and some of his YouTube videos, Ted Cruz actually responds to Asmund Gold and actually knows a little bit of a thing or two about the pay-to-win systems, the loot box systems, and how it can be affecting to little kids and building that addiction. That's all this thing has been. This is my entire rant as a whole. If I could actually consolidate everything on how pissed I am about this entire situation, it's how these companies, Activision Blizzard, as well as so many others, are trying to build addiction at a young age to young consumers. Understanding that some of these games have a rated system that doesn't mean diddly you know what. This is how these game companies are building addictions at young age and are going to be keeping people hooked to their games well into the future. Unless we make a change. That's how the modern gaming setting is going to be. Let's see. $20,000. Oh, so this thing stops. If If you actually get away from it, it actually stops. So, anyway... My God, man! But anyway, this is uh, yeah, this is this is what uh, this is what the future has in store for it. I don't know if you guys can hear. It. My kids are just getting home, so that's my future. But honestly, when it comes to the future of games, it truly does make me concerned on what the younger generations are going to be dealing with. If somebody in the younger generation wants to be playing video games, come here, beautiful. Speaking of the younger generation, it makes me totally concerned on what gaming will be like for younger people and these companies building addictions to younger kids and making them addicted to these systems as they get older. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about Diablo Immortal? And what do you think about ending the addiction, ending these practices of building addictions onto younger audience? And uh, where do you guys see, I guess, when it comes to uh, modern gaming? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day. (laughs) there's my little one there's my little girl and I'll see you guys all next time you say bye bye